If everybody could do me a favor, um, first of all, relax. Everyone's been thinking really hard this morning, and for this, I want you just to sit back, relax, enjoy, and uh, that'll help me as well. Um, also, if you could, everybody right now could just cross their fingers for me. Just do me a favor. I'm using technology here that's under development. <laughs> and there's a decent chance that all might not work, so we're going we're gonna to hope that crossing their fingers will help. Um, before the lights go down, I want to point to that projector right there, that white projector. That's the only projector that's going to be used for this performance. None of the other projectors in the house are on um, when, once I start the performance and um, controlling everything here from the iPad. Um, and the music that you're going to hear is music I composed, and so it may not be obvious, but the, the uh, projections that you see on the X are, being, are uh, interacting real time with the music as well. So um, those are all the different moving parts that have to work together. So again, let's cross our fingers and we can go ahead and bring the lights down. <clears throat> Thanks very much. <clears throat> so, so what were we seeing right there? Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but I do want to talk a little about an emerging field in art called interactive digital art. And um, whereas a traditional artist uses tools like paintbrushes, paint, um, a palette and canvas, digital artists are using laptop computers and software. And the palette today is the X. Sometimes it could be a TV screen, it could be uh, a video on the internet, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways to actually realize that, that artistic vision. Um, 
And there's people across the world that are pushing the boundaries of this technology. And so what's exciting to me about it is that I imagine and I believe that, that there's, a, there's a form of art that we cannot even imagine yet. So there's a, there's a way to express yourself artistically that hasn't even entered into our consciousness. And so the idea of pushing these boundaries is what I'm really fascinated by. And for me, as a landscape architect, this has really nothing directly to do with my job, but I'm a curious person. And so the curiosity of looking at this technology, how does it work, how does it relate to other things that I'm doing in my life, that's what excites me more than anything. And that curiousness um, on the behalf of, of all kinds of, of creative people and technologists is what's going to push that new form of art. Um, so be, be prepared, be, be curious, and to co-opt a common saying, um, while necessity may be the mother of invention, I think curiosity is the mother of innovation. Thanks a lot for letting me share today.